Greetings and welcome along on today's little journey. It wasn't a particularly special ride, but it was more of a chance to get out on two wheels, escape and relax. I often find myself trying to think about how I can convey the feeling of relaxing on a motorcycle to someone who doesn't ride. Because for most people, riders are not, the idea of being on two wheels is more like adrenaline-fueled chaos. But getting out on the road on a lazy day gives me the opportunity to quiet the raging gremlins in my mind. On a motorcycle, there is no time to think about the past or worry about the future. It is just you, your machine, and the open road, being in the present, in the here and now. And sometimes, as you will see in a bit, you can find interesting things along the way. But for now, I will be quiet for a bit. And hopefully you can feel a little of what I feel out on the open Long Island roadways. Yes, there is a building shaped like a duck. Let's take a brief pause, shall we? So, what gives with this duck? It was originally built in 1931 by Martin Maurer, who was a duck farmer, and was originally used as a shop to sell ducks and duck eggs. Go figure. The duck's eyes were originally made from Ford Model T taillights, which glowed red at night. For a building, it did move around quite a bit during its existence. It was originally built in Riverhead, then moved to Flanders, then to Sears Bellows County Park where it was used as a gift shop. It almost moved to MacArthur Airport but was then moved back to Flanders where it is listed as one of the Seven Wonders of Long Island and operates to this day as a souvenir and gift shop owned by Suffolk County. But sadly, today it wasn't open. Boo! And now it's time to head back. Sometimes it's an old fire truck on the side of the road and other times it's a building shaped like a duck. I remain thankful for all of it. There's often a deep sense of gratitude that comes to me even as I watch back my own videos, that I was able to do any of this at all, to be given the chance to accomplish a dream of mine. It truly is a gift. Life is a gift. So as I make my way back home, I will enjoy the late afternoon sun, the smell of pine trees in the air, and listen to the sultry rumble of a Yamaha inline four. <laughs> <laughs> 